Well, good morning to you. I'm out here in the parking lot uh, for a purpose, of course. Uh, I'm putting up the uh, the sign. Uh, thanks to Diane for the change of the sign there. And it's a little reminder to you and to me. Uh, beginning uh, this Sunday, our, uh, we're going into summer time frame. So uh, this Sunday, uh, the service begins at 10 a.m. right here. Uh, in the parking lot and uh, also the sign reminds you there too that uh, if you want to join in on the live stream just go to your YouTube and type in uh, NJH4 that's NJH4 and uh, I'll let you figure out uh, where that came from and uh, you can uh, join the live stream there at that YouTube channel. I uh, also want to uh, take a quick look at the other side of the sign too We've been keeping this uh, message up for the last uh, little while. Uh, it's a reminder uh, to us and to our neighborhood, let's uh, be praying. Uh, we sing it right in our anthem and uh, it is a prayer. Uh, God, uh, keep our land. Uh, so let's uh, keep praying for Canada. Uh, the Lord is the one who uh, blesses us and watches us every day. And so we can uh, be asking him to see us through. I hope you can see my sign right there. Uh, it's uh, the reminder uh, when you come for the drive-in, uh, tune in to 95.9 and uh, you'll be able to hear uh, the service on your FM radio. That's 95.9. Hope to see you uh, tomorrow. And now for a, a story. Uh, this one uh, reminded me of you, Grant. If you're watching out there in GP, you were uh, praying for you back here in the east. Uh, wishing you well. Uh, it's about uh, uh, about some sled dogs. It's written by Chuck Swindoll. Uh, he writes, uh, there are 11,130 frostbitten miles, mountain ranges, blizzards, hungry beasts, and frozen seas between Anchorage and Nome, Alaska. This awful trek is the scene of the ultimate endurance test known as the Iditarod sled dog race. It's where 12 Huskies pull a sled and its driver through the most grueling, inhumane conditions one can fathom. The most frequent champion in recent years, at least, is in a woman named Susan Butcher. Uh, her tough-minded fixation on winning has given a new meaning to the word discipline. The secret, she'll tell you, is her own mindset and her the training of those dogs which gives uh, new meaning, I guess, to the word serious as well. Her 150-dog her kennel is a thing to behold. Uh, shortly after each pup is born, uh, while it's still blind, she holds it in her hands and breathes her breath into its nose. That way, she claims, each one will associate her smell with comfort and encouragement. The rapport begins with that breathing into the nose routine. Uh, she also personally feeds, trains, and on a rotation sleeps with each dog. Uh, she personally nurses them to health when they are injured. Uh, she is infinitely patient with them. She talks to them. She believes them in them. She even sings to them. She sings old folk songs from Joan Baez and Bob Dylan. She sings them Irish lullabies. What is her objective in all of this? To bond. She wants to build a bond with each one of the dogs. You know, that bonding has really paid off for her. And they've saved her life on the trail more than once. Way back in 1979, her sled dog team uh, went to the 20,000 foot summit of Mount McKinley. And it took four days. One reporter wrote one time, what a woman, a stiff spine and a stubborn mindset. Uh, that's the stuff that's needed to endure all those uh, moose attacks out there on the trails and, and the severe weather. One time a, a blizzard was uh, so severe that for five hours she, shouldn't, she couldn't see the lead dog. And uh, when they suddenly plunged into icy water, it was the dogs, uh, Granite and Maddie, that pulled her out. You know, the Christian life isn't an 11 day race. It's a, a marathon, I suppose you could say, every day. And uh, it's a lifetime journey. It's full of uh, more dangers and pitfalls than 100 Iditarod races. 
So it's uh, it'd be foolish of us to think that we can enter into it uh, half-heartedly or that we can sustain the race easily. Instead, we need to uh, look to our Lord for his strength to run this race. To survive it calls for uh, help from above by from our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, a sense of toughness within that we have through the presence of the Holy Spirit. You see, if Susan Butcher is willing to give that kind of effort that she did to uh, uh, win those races, races that are incredible in the eyes of the world, I would say, it seems that uh, we should have uh, the same kind of mindsets and that we should be able to conquer this marathon that we're running from heaven to earth. So remember these words, the words of the scripture that says, let us run with endurance the race that is marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus. He is the author and the perfecter of our faith. Keep your eyes on Jesus today. Hope you're having a great day. God bless you.